Welcome to Kingdoms and Castles, where fish are the size of trees and where we are the king of our own medieval settlement. Now I've only played this for like 30 minutes on the easy difficulty, but for you guys I'm gonna jump right into hard. As our banner we have the Phoenix, and for our kingdom's name I'm thinking we go with Crisisville. Okay, so first things first, we need to pick an island. Now if you see these green patches, this is where we can place farms, and the more green it is, the better yield we'll get. Thinking I'm liking this one. Now that we have our island picked out, we need to put down our castle. This will be our main keep. Now we want to place this strategically. For example, if we put it here in the middle of the farmland, we'd take farmland. Really? I'm thinking we just put our keep right here in the middle of things, in between the iron and the stone. Plenty of fertile land around as well. We look down here in the bottom left, we have our resources. We only have 12 wood. These houses costs five. So as I start planning out, first what I'm gonna do is have our citizens chop down these trees nearby. Let's begin by placing a road here in the front of our keep. And then along the side of the keep, we can place some houses here. Grab some houses. Now, right now we have five citizens. Each of these houses holds five villagers. And so if we have empty beds, people will come and visit and they will fill in the houses as needed. Now, what's interesting about this game, time goes by very quickly. You can see it's already snowy. So it's really measured in years instead of days or weeks like city skylines, for example. Now, if our castle is going to expand out this way towards the ocean, then I'm thinking that we have our farms over on the opposite side from it. We do want it close enough to where it's easy to access for our citizens. We'll just bring the road on down this way. Cost nine wood, we have 111. Wow, they have been busy. Also extend this towards the iron for later. Then in food, we can select the farm. We'll start with four. Now, how this game works as far as controlling your workers, you can't tell them directly what to do, but you can set precedence as far as what they should do before other things. But for example, Builders is here at the top, Castle Jobs is second. Those are the only two jobs we have at the moment. Once we build these farms, you'll see that it'll pop up in between here. We do need to get food fast because we only have 20 right now. While those are getting built, let's take a look at the options we have in the future. There's a lot of different build pieces that we can do, ballistas and everything. That'll help us defend against enemies in the future. Our hovel is what we put down already, but we have other residences that fit more people. Food, of course, is gonna have different types of food. Industry is gonna have wood chopping or stone or iron. Think of this game as like an RTS, more involved polytopia. So our farms are in, our farmers are starting to do their job. They pop up here. So I can lower this and people will leave that job or I can hire it. Right now we do have idle workers. What I'm going to do is have them build another house to get a few more residents. And they do have to build each individual path. It's not like Timberborn, for example, where you can just put paths down and they'll automatically go. Uh, comment if you want me to make a video of Timberborn as well, by the way. And those houses are in just in time because we are at max capacity. Now we have 20 slots. The main focus at the beginning is to get enough food to survive these winters. So we do have a quarry unlocked. These stones over here are going to be where we can put our quarry. Kind of like Timberborn, you're not able to get to these stones without putting paths to them. Now my main concern is I want to get the layout right from the beginning because it's a lot harder to go back and demolish everything than it is just to plan ahead. And we're going to see how we want to lay this out. So if we want castle in this area, residence in this area, and farms down here, tell you what, we'll come off one more, bring it down, and it'll go right to the stone. We can pick our quarry and we're able to place it now. I can place another one on the back side as well. We just don't have enough people for that yet. Each building we place is going to require a specific amount of workers to make fully efficient. And some buildings don't work at all if it's not fully staffed. So we need to make sure we're scaling along with our population. It tells us that we have zero idle, but uh... Oh, I'm so silly. Um, we're paused. You guys sure you want me leading you? What's cool as well is each of these people, if we click on them... Oh. Hello there. I didn't do this. Each one, they just have randomly generated... What the heck? Oh yes, we have Henry and Ruby Wan Kenobi. <laughs> I don't know if this is randomly generated, but uh, if we have Obi-Wan Kenobi, I mean uh, Ruby Wan Kenobi in our kingdom, I think we're gonna do okay. And now we're up to 15 people and we have three idle workers. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in an orchard here. We can see in each of these farms, the base output is four, but since we're in the green area, it's plus two. So that's a 50% increase for each of those. So we definitely want to save as much of this as we can. Let's focus on making our citizen happy. 
in here, you can see there's different requirements to fulfill. Right now we need water and we also need charcoal. So let's take a look in town. There is a well that we can create. Oh gosh, why does this always happen in every game I play? Uh, let's put a well down. Put it there for now. We can demolish it if we need to. No, are you kidding me? Oh, what is my luck? I don't know if they're automatically going to put it out or what. In town, there is a fire brigade, but we're nowhere near being able to get it. Our keep is on fire too, so they are throwing water on it now. Hopefully we won't lose too much. Everyone's chipping in. Come on, guys. Oh, they're getting it from the ocean. All right, all right. I think crisis averted. Could be fine. I don't know why these are yellow. Because the health is low. Build more masons to repair this building. I'm going to be able to get masons for forever. Well, at least we got it out of the way early. The quarry is in, so we're able to get stone now. I want to start chopping down some trees, so let's place a forester. I'm going to place it to where the trees aren't going to take up any of our farming land, so right there should be good. Just like that, our workers should be getting to it. We are now gathering wood, and I built a few more houses over on this side. We were at capacity. Really see how trash these houses are. Not sure how much it affects our happiness. Now, since we're increasing in population, I need to increase our food production. So you'll notice right now, as they come down this path, they have to take resources to the keep. I want to cut down on the travel time. If we go to industry, we can put a stockpile over on this end. So that way they only have to walk from here to here and here to here. Uh, we've grown to a small village, cool. Um, but you can see here at the top that will attract people and people come to visit and a fraction of them will stay. If you look at these houses, they have water now, but they still need to get some charcoal. In industry, we have a charcoal maker for 15 wood. And the smoke that's produced, people don't like it, so we'll put this far away from our residential zones. We put it right in here. It's a full staff to replant. So this is what I was talking about before. So when we placed this to be built, it took workers away to build it because again, our job priority has builders at the top. Uh, so we just got a warning that a dragon is sighted and it's like the middle of a storm. We don't have any military whatsoever. Here comes the dragon. Uh, let me pause. He literally has nothing to say. Bro, do your job. Also, these are like me's from the Wii. <laughs> okay, now in castle, I only have castle blocks and stairs. We'll just have to press play and see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't see us. And uh, no, yeah, it definitely sees us. Maybe he'll just pass on. Oh, I think we're good. I didn't think that we would get enemies this early. We were just lucky enough that it passed by and decided not to jump on our villagers. But back to the charcoal. Since that is in, they now have charcoal. Ooh, plus five happiness. Go to our advisors and see what the next steps are. Try building nice larger homes, okay? And we need granaries. So since we got stone, that unlocked quite a few things. We can now build a cottage, which houses 12 people. That is more than double. For now, I'll start with a granary, because anything that's not stored, because this is pretty much outdoors, anything that's not stored... Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Uh, so the dragon is back. We do like zero damage jump. I think we scared him off. Is he just going to wander the map now? Okay, so let's put a, a granary in. It's going to rain a lot. Granary is completed. We've also unlocked a few amenities such as the tavern, which increases happiness in exchange for food. Let's put a town square in. Looking towards the future, we'll have it surrounded by residents. So we'll put it here. Build some roads around it as well. Oh, also I figured out why these were like yellow. We go to building integrity. Turns orange, we can see how things are faring. This is what we were seeing before. It's the health of individuals and houses. And then of course there's happiness, which Unfortunately, they're not very happy. We're getting close to capping out in our population, so let's build... Oh, this took all of our wood. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop down the trees over on this side, because then the wood that's left behind will be used for the houses we're going to build. Um, I probably should have planned this better, actually. There is iron right here. Now, that is a bummer. So again, we have this area for farming. I hate to have just built this and then not really use it, but... Uh, I think this area is going to be a lot better. All right, so let's design the layout for this residential area. I am going to have to move this. That's okay. Maybe I'll just move it onto the other side here. Okay, so we'll have a road come directly out of our keep. Okay, and then we'll just put the cottage right there. We are going to want to move this. 
It doesn't cost very much to build, thankfully. And we're not going without charcoal. I'm going to build a new one before I do that. Now, I know we're going to need charcoal for smithing later, since the iron's on this side, and we're putting a residences over here now. I'm going to just plunk this down right at the end of that road. Since we're getting more people, we we'll have room for a few more jobs. If you look down here, stone is kind of the hang-up right now. So let's go ahead and place another quarry on the back side. Hopefully that's right in line for our road to continue through. Okay, so since we're going to be increasing our population soon, I think it's important we focus on our food production. We're doing really good right now, but if we look in here, we're a little low on fruit. Place another orchard. Oh, we are out of balance here. Should be good on food for a while. Now, a lot of these buildings require gold, which we don't have any yet. If we look here, our tax rate can't go up because we need to build a treasure room. That's going to be in the castle tab. Treasure room costs 40 stone. So let's get 40 stone. Maybe place it right here. The treasury is in, and it actually upgraded my keep. So now we have some solid walls. Pretty cool. But with that, if we look into our jobs, we now have tax collectors, everyone's favorite person in town. They will begin collecting money for us so we can unlock those other things. And our happiness, we're getting negative 10 because our peasants want a tavern. Here in town, we can build one. We just need a bit more stone. We're actually one away. I think right here next to the well will be good. That'll leave space on the back for some more. This whole time we haven't been getting taxes because the tax rate's at zero. So literally five people are sitting around doing nothing. Let's increase that to 10%. Um, actually 20%. We'll do 20% here at the start. Then we can start building some of those nicer buildings. I know that we had just placed our town square over here. I'm gonna put another one here. No reason to demolish this. It's just wasted resources. But this will be our main residential area. Kind of cool, but these are actually... I don't know if this goes with the season in the game or if it's just because it's like Halloween time. I just noticed by the map here, it says five years. So I guess the dragon is going to come in five years. Let's see if we can get some defenses in that time. Cost 25 gold. We are getting, we're at 11 now. So I think we should be able to have at least one ballista by the time the dragon comes. We can start building a tower for it though. Maybe here in the middle of town, we'll put that there and build on top of this. Let's place a second one, make it a two high tower, and then we'll put a ballista on top. So looking at our happiness, everything's yellow except for this one. They don't have enough charcoal. So unfortunately, this one isn't producing enough. If we go to industry, we do have a large one that we can place now, but unfortunately it does take 15 gold. I think happy citizens pay better though. All right, so I put it on the back side here. That way the smoke doesn't get in anyone's way. And this will be our smithing area in the future. Only concern is that this is quite a ways from our residences. Just place a kiln on this side as well. That way we'll have a supply coming from this end. The excess can go towards filling the rest of the needs for the houses. But then it can really be used for the iron mine. Which we're actually able to make here pretty soon. Make the ballista first. Yeah, we'll make the ballista first just to cover our bases and then we'll start into the Iron Age. So we have enough resources for the ballista, but I just realized it requires the Chamber of War. So if we look at the Chamber of War, that takes 50 gold. So it really takes 75 to get this ballista in. I'm really glad I didn't waste 25 of it on an iron mine quite yet. But our tower is in. It looks pretty dang good. It's gonna look super awesome having the ballista on there. We now have 50 gold, which means we can make the war chamber. Put it right next to the treasury. Oh my gosh, did you see that? That is freaking awesome. Also, since this is upgraded, I bet it does more damage. Two years, I might be cutting it a little close to get that ballista in. I want to build this up one more. Our charcoal is flying now. 34, oh my goodness. We can now put the ballista on top of the tower. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah. Two years, so we're totally fine. People, they want a library or a church, but the gold needed to go to that first, so church will be next. And the church is expensive. Might be a while till they get it. Just one year until the dragon attack. I'm really excited for it, actually. Oh, yes, perfect timing. That just got built. I really want to see this. Oh, I just shoot. It's actually shooting something. Wait a second. It's the wolves. It's shooting the wolves. I didn't realize the wolves were hostile. Kind of cute. Yeah, they have to go. Finally giving the people what they want. I'm gonna build a chapel here. And uh, the dragon should be here any second. Oh, nope. Yeah, the dragon is definitely here. 
on the other side of the map, though. Coming our way. Yeah, it's coming right for our castle. Here we go. Come on, Ballista. Slowly targeting. Keep is doing the damage. No, don't burn my orchard. No, no. Not even at half health. Oh, good. They're putting it out. Okay. Prices,ville. This is this is nothing for us. Uh, we have Vikings invading. Let's see what our military has to say. Or archer towers or ballista. There's archer towers. I think we need to make archers first. Seventy gold. We're actually pretty close. Forty-five stone. Okay, whichever one of these gets done first, we need to build that so we can defend against these Vikings. Oh, there's two of them. There's one coming to us and. Are these ones attacking the other? They're about to land. Oh, this is so bad. We have nothing except for the Ballista and the Keep. They come. Freaking Goliath on their team. Oh, this is so bad. Okay, we can make a barracks, but I don't think it's going to get built nearly in time. No point in placing it until after this. I don't want them just to destroy the plot. Wolves, go get them, boys. Get them. Reach them. Yes, it can. Entering the city. Oh my gosh. They're dropping our citizens. Oh, but we're dropping them. Look at that. Oh, we survived. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Huh. Let's get this barracks in, though. Pop it right there if we want it. Oh. Yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll put it there. Getting built super fast. Oh, here's the archer tower. It's next to the ballista. So build a tower similar to this. We can put archers in it. Huh? Uh, so there's more coming. Oh, uh, no. Okay, can we make some people? Cost 17. No, we need I. Guess we'll just have to fend off this attack like we did the last one. Doesn't look any bigger, so I think we should be fine. Yeah, the Ballista is good against the Dragon because it does high damage, but against these little guys, it's the Archer Tower that's going to really rinse them. As soon as they come in range of the fort, they just get annihilated. What does it say they don't have a house? Like the place to live? They destroy one of our houses. Oh wait, I think they surrendered and became a part of our city. What? That's kind of cool, actually. I'll just build some hovels for them over here for now. They did invade us. They don't. They don't deserve much. So let's get to putting our iron in so we can actually have a standing military. Each of these can support two. So we'll put one in there and one in there. And then what do we need to the blacksmith? Takes charcoal and iron and turns it into tools or armaments. We need to save up for that. We need quite a bit of gold and quite a bit of everything, actually. And we are now a burgeoning town. Let's go! This is going really well so far. 100 people, 13 unfulfilled jobs, so we do need to get more people still. I really want to put in a manor, but we just need the resources for everything else. So I might just have to put a bunch of hovels down and then go back and demolish them later. How many builders do we have? 21? I think it just uses builders to fill this up. Which, I mean, takes away from other jobs for a second, but overall I think everything gets done faster this way, so I'm not complaining. Okay, so now that this is cleared, I want to push the foresters out more. We have more room to continue the residential area. Okay, so this side of town is redesigned. We have three forester huts, one here, one here, and here. We should increase our wood capacity, though, I mean, chopping down all these trees kind of did that for us. But we want sustainability, just to keep an eye on. Four years till a dragon, and we have another raid. So let's get our military up and running. I also put in all these houses up here, so we have space for 153 people. This is kind of the, uh, the workers' end. Uh, and this is the fancier, richer people. We do have enough for a blacksmith now. 4x4, four four, quite large. Hmm, I want to save this space for agriculture. I'll just put it next to the kiln here. I'm kind of surprised that our food is stable. We've got a ton more people than we did. But, like, we didn't, we didn't have a lot of food before. I mean, it stayed about the same, so I don't know how that's happening. But I'm not complaining. I just realized we only have one worker getting stone for us, so that's that's a problem. That explains why we're not getting any. Find where our quarry workers are. Let's move them above the miners, since we can't really do anything with that yet. 
All right, so the blacksmith is creating both tools and armaments, which means if we go to our barracks, we can now train swordsmen. Well, once we get 17 at least. The tools will be used for rock removal, which we can use to get rid of these darker stones that don't do anything. It'll save us some space, but the most important thing is that we'll be able to fit a large quarry around it, which I think will double the amount of stone we produce. Before the dragon and the next raid shows up, let's finish this second tower we were building. We'll make it too high and then go from there. Uh, I just realized that there's a merchant ship up here. Why don't we get that? Also, this is the first get of our enemies. Or I guess they're not necessarily enemies, but the AI. Uh, we haven't started fishing at all. If we look at the hovels, it does give us a bonus in happiness. So let's let's do some fishing. Bring a road all the way to the coastline. Grab a fishing hut. We'll also need a fishmonger as well. Fill in the rest of the roads. And I think we'll need a place to store it, though I think the fishmonger does store. We have a diplomat. The diplomat has arrived. Click on this here. Game crashes? Oh, thank goodness it saved. Okay, so it lost a little bit of progress, but we're good. Okay, so back to where we were at. Let's see if it crashes this time. Okay, we're good. I have a message from a ruler. Let's go on. Uh, let's be nice for now. Okay, bye guys. Let me know in the comments if you want us to be friendly or not in the next episode. That is, of course, if you guys even like this content. I am working on part two for the desert city. If we go into food, we have plenty, but we're out of wheat completely. We are subsisting only on fruit. So if we go into food, we do have a windmill that is going to increase the productivity of farms that are adjacent. Uh, totally missed this. We're under attack. Only my ballista can see him right now. Luckily, they're going to head towards the middle of the town. Easy. Minus 100, but plus 100. Uh, okay. I guess they took it and then they killed him and got it back. And now we have a dragon on top of that. But uh, we've seen dragons before. This should go fine. Nice. That actually did a lot of damage. Dang, the bliss is so good. Setting everything on fire though. Put it out, guys. I think it's leaving now. So, okay. Yeah, we're good. We're close to our cap for population, so I'm going to add a manor. This is our first manor. Houses like what? 24 or something? Yeah, 25 people. More fire, of course, naturally, running pretty, pretty badly. Given my track record, uh, what does it take to build a fire brigade? We can build one. Demolish this storage and place it right next to my towers. We need to add a cemetery though. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I just realized that we are almost out of food. A windmill and then and with farms over here. Let's see how fast they can build those. Okay, so the farms are getting built. Should be fine there. Okay, so unless there's a fire, I'm going to turn off the firefighters. Also going to turn off the ballista and the archer towers. That should give us a little bit extra leeway to get things done. We are at zero food now. The cemetery just got finished, but there's no one dead, so I'm going to turn them off as well. Okay, there's a ton of food. We have plus three from the windmill, plus two. That's awesome. Base is four. We're more than double. We also need to build some taverns since they're overcrowded. We can build a large tavern now. We're already at the cap for our population again, so let's get some more buildings in here. We can build another manor, so let's do that. Put it in over on the other side. Still hovering at zero food. Got our first hunger warning. I might add another orchard or two. I'll do two orchards there, and then a windmill here. Tell you what, if we build a theater, on a people to move into our city. Oh, our blacksmith is on fire. I just realized that I uh, forgot to turn the firefighters on for this, but fine. It's about time we built a mason though, so these houses can get fixed. Wait a second, fish caught last year was five? An entire year, you only picked up five fish? What is wrong with you guys? Oh, uh, Vikings invading. Also, I think it's about time we built a dock. Okay, so two armies this time. Let's see how things get on. We need to start building some walls, I think. Took our gold. And now things are on fire. Hold on, hold on, pause, pause. I forgot that my towers don't have anyone in them. 
job priority, archers, ballista, and firefighters. Oh, this is not good. Come on, ballista, come on. Okay, the archers are in there now. Come on, boys. Okay, I think we survived. Oh, that was that was bad. But I've got to turn them off again. Got to remember to turn these back on. People are still hungry too. Oh, this is so bad. Look, we have grown so much. Like, what more could they want? Okay, three more windmills worth of farms should do it. Oh, I missed a few here. And maybe then we'll be fine with food. I just, like, I'd love to get more people in here, but we just can't until we get more food. Oh, there's a dragon. Ah. Oh. We're doing fine, I guess. Um, hold on, pause. Ballista. Firefighters. Set this on fire, what the heck, dude? Not the theater house. Okay, we're good. What do I pay you boys for? Look at our food, let's go. We'll start expanding our population again, but I also want to go and see how the AI is doing to see if we're even in the same boat or not. So we have two options. We can make an exploration ship or we can make a Hall of Diplomacy. The Hall of Diplomacy is a lot less, so let's do that. Ooh, speaking of which, I like the looks of that. Right, Hall of Diplomacy is down. Let's find out what they have for us. Have a message. Go on. Greetings. We were thinking of you recently. Six. That's actually, that's pretty good. That's not bad. Okay, so the Diplomacy Hall is done. No staff. Train new soldiers. Train some diplomats. There we go, we have a diplomat. So what do we what do we do with you? Sir Noah. Oh, I can move him around. Looks like we have to build a transport ship anyways. Uh okay, let's see. What do we need for that? 65 wood. Not too bad. We'll uh get that pretty soon. By the way, we have 64 unfilled jobs, which means that if we grew to over 300 people and didn't add anything else but houses, then uh and we'd have every job filled, which is doable since our food is so good now. Too bad, each of these gives 25, so... Hey, hey, we're a bustling city! Let's go, that's actually pretty good to get to. So, all we need to do is get a transport ship, and then we can go and say hi to our neighbors. I had them chop down all these trees because I was tired of waiting. We now have 250 wood, which means we can go and create a transport ship. Put it right in here, I guess. And that should get built pretty fast because it's just 65 wood. While the ship is getting built, I put down three more manors, so we should finally have enough people. Oh, those wolves. Need some soldiers to take care of them. But these will get built, and so then we'll finally have enough people to actually run our city at full production. Okay, our transport ship is built, so let's move Sir Noah into there. How do we... Oh, there we go. Now he's moving. Our transport ship is approaching... Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, we, we don't have anything like this. Castle seems to be at the same level as ours. We haven't done anything with walls yet that we probably should. And her base is so big. We've got troops, too. I don't know what happened to our diplomat. Should be in the boat. Oh, our diplomat is here on the water. Oh, man. Okay, so the transport ship has to come all the way back. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, transport ship is back inside. Reminds me of Age of Empires. Our ship is almost there. Drop our guys off here. Let's uh, let's do a little bit of exploring, shall we? So her city is way more spread out than mine, as well as gotta have a ton of food. Look at the amount of farms. This is actually nuts. I wonder if there's a way to see her stats. So honestly, her place isn't that much further along than mine. It's just more spread out and a lot more farms. She has more defenses and more of a military than me. It'll be fun to declare war on her later. Again, if you guys want, let me know. Uh, so we just lost all of our favor by going and talking to her. Her will give you some resources. Make a gift at the Hall of Diplomacy. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be friendly, because uh, that's a lot of work to give them a gift, and I don't really want to. Okay, so our transport is back, and we have 31 idle people. Let's go and turn everything on. 
Okay, everything's on, and we have 20 extra people. Let's turn them into soldiers. We just don't have enough armaments, so we'll turn them on in the blacksmith. We have enough space to actually put our stuff pretty much full, so let's make another storage. And it's almost year 50. As my last act as king in this video, I'm going to finally train a swordsman squad. Not that it's going to help us very much against this dragon. Oh, wait. Yeah, we do have people in here because we have like a million people now. Can we actually kill this dragon for once? Boys, fortunately, it's away again. But about to have a military. Let's go. Finally, check that out. That's sick. I appreciate the comments that you left about what we should do with Freighton. Freighton? Freighton? She should be frightened. That was terrible. And I honestly don't know exactly what we're going to do with her yet. Honestly, I am not quite ready to have a war even if I wanted to. We have all of one army and she has some fairly decent defenses. Of course, I don't want war before I'm ready. So for this video, we're going to be friendly. Sorry, dude. And the first thing we're going to need to do is make a gift because I want to make a bathhouse. It's like we have plenty of resources so we can spare it. So how exactly do we do this? I assume if we just press this. Yeah collecting resources. So our citizens are rounding up the materials that we need for the gift. I think we're going to need our diplomat back. So let's put them here and we'll bring them over to our hall of diplomacy. Where is our boat going? I guess if you want to go to that side, you can come over here. All right. So that is done. I think it automatically gave it to them. So we'll just put them into our transport here. And every time I do that, I think of Age of Empires. It's more of a gift than we ever got from her. All right. So now her opinion of us is very favorable. All right. So now that the gift has been given, let's focus on expansion and maybe a bit more defense. We do have Vikings coming in a year. And uh, I was on YouTube looking at a few other videos and it looks like it gets pretty intense. Oh, no, nope, they're here right now. We'll see how big of an army it is. Oh, interesting. They're different kinds of boats. So the vision is I want to make this edge more defensible. Is she just getting attacked by all of them? Have fun dealing with that. Wait a second. Oh, nope. We do have a group coming to us. I put houses right up to the edge here in the water, which might not have been the smartest idea. We'll probably end up redesigning all of this. But first, let's deal with these troops. Let's get our troops involved. Get them. Let's go. First, the tree is just right there. Can't even see what's going on. Looks like they're handling it well. Army health, 90 out of 162. Honestly, not bad. That was one versus, what, four? Let's get on to building. We have tons of resources. I think for starters, let's move where we have our lumberjacks so we can clear out all of this extra space. And we'll move them up here instead. Just come right off of here. We do unfortunately have some wolves in these forests, so we'll have to take care of them as well. Luckily, our army is ready to go, so we'll send them up here. In the meantime, let's... Oh, see, it won't even let me place it next to the wolves. We'll have them go and attack over here. Wolves are doing nothing to us. All right. Okay, so one pack of wolves done. Let's go take out the other one. I just noticed this over here. I had no idea you were there. While they're doing that, we'll just bring our roads up to the top. We're also going to need a big stockpile for all the wood that we're going to create. So I just clicked on the hut. Apparently, it's the witch. We'll go ahead and knock. I'm starved. Fetch me some food, will you? 83. That was at like 400 earlier. Uh, we might have to deal with that, but we'll send it to you. Thank you very much. Let's chat again in eight years. Bro, what? Fun with that. Oh, look, our food's up to 400 again, so it might be stable. Okay, let's add our foresters in. I'm thinking we're going to need a lot of wood for these projects we're going to come up with, so maybe do four. All right, so four new foresters should do it. Let's go ahead and clear out these other ones on the other side. Wood went down to 240 again. I do want to get rid of this empty cave. Go to industry. We have... Oh no, we don't have enough tools. We have a ton of iron, but just not enough blacksmithers. So let's add another one of those. Seen unfulfilled jobs, so we'll need to add some more residences. So we do need more residences, but luckily all of this yellow land here is perfect for residences. I want to save as much of the green as we can for our farming. Of course, we'll begin with our roads. And since this wood is right here, builders should just take this wood and put it into the road. So it shouldn't take too long. Now, I do read every single one of your guys' comments. And I had multiple people tell me that a 3 by 3 grid... It's going to be the most effective because then we can put windmills in the inside and all that jazz. So I'm going to focus on doing that on this side. Ooh, we just had a merchant ship. Let's see if they have any tools we can buy off of them. 326. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they have uh, quite a bit. Now we can get rid of this right away. Rock removal. Get rid of that. And we might as well get rid of this cave as well while we're at it. 
All right, so let's frame out these roads. I did just notice that there are stone roads, which allows them to move much. Why have I not been using that? Oh, and I can just put it right on the other roads. So let's do a bit of that, actually. Oh my gosh, uh, I didn't realize it was using gold. Oh, we have no gold now. Um, So that's all we're going to do for now. So let's outline these roads, not with the stone ones, but with the normal ones. Now the shape of this is kind of odd. Hard to use the land as well as I want to. Again, we want three by three grids. And this land is fertile over here as well. So let's let's actually pause time and I wanna frame this. That way they don't come and build it if I wanna get rid of something. Okay, so not quite three by threes through here, but I think it's about as good as it's gonna get. A little awkward along this edge, but I think I'll just have orchards through here. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Let's start by doing the three by threes that we do have. Here should be worth it. We're missing one square. The issue is I don't know if it's worth putting it here. Looks like I've run out of gold again. I mean, we can increase our taxes, but at what point do they start getting mad at us and want to revolt? Okay, so we got our farms in there. If we put a windmill here, we're going to lose out on two spaces. We'll just cut our losses, I guess. Maybe we'll put a bakery or storage in there. But first, let's get our orchards in. I think I'll put one down here and then another windmill. Okay, so our farms are set up and good to go. They just need to be built. Let's do some storage for them now. Let's place that right here. Then we can put some manors on the back side. We're gonna need a ton of people to, to actually do stuff with these farms. I'll we'll put one there. I'll we'll put another one here once we have enough gold. Gold is the main hangup. And uh, one year till a dragon attack. I don't know if they get any harder if it just stays the same. Also, let's check in on the witch. Let's chat in four years. I have to like actually keep track of that. I'm gonna burn our villages over here. Oh no, I don't have- hold on. I'm so bad at these games sometimes. We don't have any defenses over this side. For now, let's just build a tower here. Lista or archer tower? Let's do an archer tower. I hit unpause and see what happens. Oh, looks like it's just a drive-by. All right, go and do some damage over there, will ya? Anyways, back to what we were doing. If you look at our manners, it will tell us what needs they have. They don't have any fresh meat or fish. Oh, they don't have any water too, so we need to fix that. Let's add in a few wells. See, now my question is, there's a baker, but I don't see anywhere that it actually gives any benefit. So I don't really see the point of it now. I'm not going to use it. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. I do want to start getting some meat on the go. Our uh, fishing. Oh, what is going on? These guys, I swear, worst fishermen I have ever had. I mean, the only fishermen I've ever had, but let's see if we can't replace them with some animals. We'll need a butcher and we'll need some swine yards. So we'll just place those right on the other side of our farms. Hopefully I'm not expanding too much. We need to get more residences in if I want to offset these jobs. So let's put another one of those in. And then we can fill along here with them as well. Need more gold. Doing on jobs. 95 unfulfilled jobs. Oh, my. oh, we do have 31 builders right now. So that that's part of it. But still, I think everything is built. So let's see where we're at. 100 unfulfilled jobs. No. We just need to put in a bunch of manners. On stop. Oh, and we have Vikings. Um, Hello. Army, get over there. Yep, there you go. That might be a good spot for a tower then. Come on, boys, protect the city. No! I think that's the first thing they've ever destroyed. As we're waiting on gold, let's build a tower on this side. Now, we are absolutely flying on charcoal, so I'm going to demolish this one here to make room. And then let's get rid of these rocks so we have space for things. Nope, that takes 45 gold. Never mind. We're not going to do that yet. We are going to continue to put in manors as well. Uh, as keep our basic needs taken care of. People are unhappy. The peasants despair at their filthiness. They need a bathhouse. I haven't messed around with that at all. Here it is. So bathhouse provides a place to bathe. Proves happiness in a large radius. Requires connection. A Noria. Okay. Here's the Noria. Actually, we just got the resources for it. Provides water to aqueducts and reservoirs. Well, I think the easiest thing to do with our bath is to put it right here. Guys, I don't think you realize how long this took me to decide this. Like, it's pretty bad. So let's go ahead and mark it out. Bring our road to the coastline. Also get rid of this rock here. Right now we have water. Woohoo! Uh, we have enough gold too, so let's go and grab our bathhouse. And then let's just grab our aqueduct and place it here. And that should work. I, again, have no idea how this works whatsoever. 
But I'm giving the people what they want. Woohoo, we have a bath. Uh, might need to censor this. Also, uh, dragon? Hello. Um, you guys can't do anything. We'll rebuild that. It might be time to get some archers. Oh, we don't even have the archer hall. Build an archer school. I'm making some archers. Dragon again. Oh, I never put a- hold on. Never put an archer tower on here. Actually, let's do a ballista. Not that it's gonna get done in time to do anything, but, uh, I thought that counts, right? We have barbarians coming in one year. Are our defenses ready for that ballista that protects this side? That is pretty undefended. I think I might start doing my wall. I'll probably have a wall go down the middle. If we go to our walls, if we grab that and make it three high, we drag it over this way, thing like this. I don't know. <laughs> Not exactly sure how this works, but ooh, we need to get more stone soon. This is going to take a ton. While they're getting things built, we have 162 unfulfilled jobs because we have 141 builders. At least this will get built fast we have 10 viking um one two three four five six my goodness this is nuts oh wait we have a group coming from over here okay let's get our army where you at boys um where did my army go i guess we'll just press play uh, i don't know where they went the vikings are getting nuts this group is gonna get taken care of pretty fast so we'll just have this army here especially if we get a tower here should be fine though so, hold on what happened to my army where'd you guys go press play and see what happens i needed to demolish this anyway so that's that's kind of okay yeah i'll just let them destroy this one and then they'll be in range to be taken out after that oh, we have a bunch of homeless people though Okay, so I need to build another manor somewhere. Let's just put it right here. Speed up time again. Wait, 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 wait. Nice. Anyways, put an archer tower on this one. Rubble here. Demolish it. Really glad I don't have to demolish the theater. Oh, that would have sucked. And this is going to look pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I'm digging this. I'm glad we decided not to go to war this time because I'm not even close to like getting my stuff together to be able to do that. Okay, perfect. The quarry is free all around. I just have to demolish the church here. And then the quarries themselves. Wait. Where did you guys come from? The, what? Okay, I'm gonna have to go back and watch that. I have no idea what just happened. Need 50 gold for the quarry. Should get that pretty soon. Perfect. Cool. Now we'll have a bunch of stone. And we're gonna need a ton for all of this. Okay, so this waterfront has been taken care of. Let's just focus on wrapping it around and doing the other side. Do I want our partitioning wall to be? Do I just go right off the edge of the farms here? That might be best, so let's go ahead and take our walls. Push out the rest of the shore to that point. Need a ton more stone. Ooh, and we do have two more quarry rocks over here, so it might be worth getting to there first. Let's get all that chopped down. And if we want to get large quarries around these, it's going to take quite a bit of tools. But we'll go ahead and throw our quarries in. One, two, three, four. We'll definitely be needing that stone. Then back to building the castle. That's as much as I can do at this point. The dragon is sighted. I think we're pretty much covered on defenses. I don't know, that's kind of on the edge there. We'll see how we fare. Oh, I was like, why is he flying so fast? But it's because we're on three times speed. Is that all that on fire at once? Bruh. Dang, they build this stuff fast. And we have more stone. Okay, stone gate in there. Stone gate in there as well. So if Vikings land on this side of the island, they cannot get to the rest of the city. They'll just have to take down one of the walls first. Of course, if they come from the other side, we're still screwed, but uh, we'll fix that when we get there. Uh, speaking of Vikings, they have just, uh, just popped up. Each of those flags is an army, I think. That's kind of nuts. And they might land here. So let's try to get some beef. Four tall. Yeah, they are they are coming from this side. Let's pause. Let's get our army. Okay, so here they come. Yeah, they can't get in. Where's our army at? Did they kill our army? You're kidding. They can swim? What? Okay. Um, good to know. Oh, I really need to get this all figured out. I could use some more armies for sure. We're gonna have to rebuild quite a bit after this. I think that's pretty much taken care of. Let's build. Oh no, they're still alive. Oh, what happened to my army? Okay. We're clear now. We're good. Uh, get everything rebuilt. We're probably gonna need another mason. Those gates look pretty dang epic. That's that's thick. Put some towers on them. I'm thinking we do an archer tower. I mean, archer tower is gonna look the best. You know what? We'll put 
archer towers on these ones. I assume that's where the vikings are going to come and archer towers are most effective against those. And then kind of intermediary, we'll put level 2. And then right here in the middle, we'll put ballista on that. We need to finish this off because apparently they can swim. We'll just come down this coastline, put walls all the way through. I don't know what to do about this, if they can land there, what the story is, but we'll fill in around it as best we can. This is going to use all of our stone for sure. Okay, and then unfortunately we'll have to get rid of some of these. Where did, when did you guys get destroyed? That's looking pretty good though. I'm a fan. Check our jobs, 27, 26 unfulfilled jobs. We could use a little bit more population. We can start building on the outside of the walls here because eventually we're going to come and fill all the way through here and again we want to keep them around our basic niches and bath bath is going to cover this area question is how much more of like the keep stuff do we need we already have all of these great hall eat grand meals every day here what the heck does that do for us i don't know if i want to waste my stuff on that we already have barracks and archer school siege workshop we'll definitely put it in here somewhere oh it actually fits in there never mind we'll just put it right there Perfect. Okay, we're doing really good on resources. We need to continue building our wall. I get distracted way too easily. Slow down time and take a look-see, because they're coming in a year. I have a dragon on the way too. Oh, that dragon looks different than other ones. Oh, that ballista doing the damage. Lacking on the side of the kingdom. Let's just start putting walls in on this side then. Oh my gosh! Bro! Holy cow! Yeah, the dragons are getting harder for sure. Need another fire brigade. That's all of our food. Good thing we built this. That's nuts. There's another dragon, bruh. That one's different too. Put a fire brigade there. And I, I, I just know it. I know it with my history. We're gonna need another one. Oh my god, the carnage. I have to go and rebuild every single one of these. And we have Viking coming in a year after this. Oh boy. Let's continue our walls first. Okay, your hut. Can I get rid of you? Or if I can't clip it off. Maybe I'll make this like a kill point or something. Then maybe I'll bring the wall be here. We know how Vikings, 11 of them, they are getting really, really aggressive. Question is, where are they gonna land? They are coming from, oh my fish? Insane. Getting so crazy. I need to train some soldiers. Uh, let's go to the barracks, train swordsmen. Let's go with five armies, train some archers as well. Oh, five, I don't know if we could do that many. 289. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, we're fine. We'll need a ton more people to support those armies though. So let's build some manors. We'll do that in this new area here. Do I have my army? No, my army's dead from before. How long do you take to train? Not fully staffed. Military training is at the bottom. Windmill workers. Wait, our windmills aren't even doing a job. Oh... 243 unfulfilled jobs. That's because we're doing all the building, that's why. As long as our towers are functioning. Archers, ballista, okay. As long as those are taken care of. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. I think they're going to land over here. Oh, that's... If they had landed over here, we might not have survived at this. Um, so some of them are coming here. And this is what I suspected would happen. Rid of that. Night Christmas, how do you have a dock? But not have it be vulnerable. Okay, so people are getting dropped off here. This is so bad. Okay, luckily a lot of them are going towards the middle. Took 100 of our gold, but we got it back. Dropping off more people? Or what are you doing? Hanging out. Okay. To build some towers on these. It's like, I don't know, the, the armies aren't super strong. They get destroyed pretty fast. They're just out of range for my defense. Also, why is this one gold and this one not? Oh, this is part of the keep. Oh, what the heck is that? What are you? Oh my gosh. Two hits in my... Oh, I might have to rethink. Oh, goodness. Uh, this is taken care of, but uh, this is a problem. We need Ballista for sure because of this. Oh, it's an ogre. Okay, he's dead. Okay, we have seven years until the next raid. What do we need to get done? People don't have houses. That's an issue. We have one manor being created. Probably a second so we can make those troops. At the speed up time so I can actually build. We'll put another one there. So the higher the wall is, does that give it more health? I don't know. Andy Moore was killed by wolves. Bro, what 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 happened? I can't worry about you. <laughs> I wonder if Ruby One Kenobi is still alive. I'm hoping that they attack from the same way. They're using our stone so fast. Okay, then we just need to do here and figure out this area. So this wall 
is figured out. Now we just need to deal with this section here. Honestly, I am not using a dock for much. It is okay if that goes away for now. So this side should be totally closed off. We're gonna have dragons and vikings at the same time. This side really vulnerable. Ballista for dragons. Put another one somewhere down here. Out of stone again. Oh, bother. I think I got those up cores in there. Where the heck are our armies at? Goodness, we need a lot more people, don't we? Okay, priority is let's get a ton of people so I can make a bunch of armies. So let's fill this out with some manners. That should do us for population for a while. How is she getting on with the barbarian attacks? Because, uh, I don't know, I feel like... I feel like at this point I'm much more defended than she is. Okay, so back to filling this area in. And walls to here. Three years to the Vikings come. I think we might be able to get this done before they come. Perfect. That will all get taken care of. So the only entrance is either this and this landing point. Let's go ahead and demolish these. Uh, we'll just fill this in with the last little bit of castle. Um, what's what's uh, what's going on here? No gold. No gold to pay people. Oh, I didn't realize they each took gold. Sorry guys, we're upping tax rate. <laughs> we have to. Wait, what is that noise? <gasps> no way. We have our first archers and of course our army. Oh, yeah, we'll keep you guys centrally located. So we know where they're coming from. Oh, look at that. Two armies now. This is sick. Well, moment of truth is almost here. Okay, here we go. 12 Viking armies coming from this direction. At least one of them's coming over this way. Looks so cool. We'll get the rest of it done eventually. They are landing where we want them to. I hear dragons. Luckily, they're going to her place first. Okay, so got one, two, four, five, six... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 armies <laughs> to deal with. Let's get our troops to meet this ogre. Actually, yeah, let's have them pull back toward of our towers. Oh, we got two dragons. This whole site is on fire now. Okay. Um, anything get broken over here? No. Wow. All in all, that was not bad. That worked pretty well. We need to get some extra protection over on this side. Just off screen, I went ahead and walled the rest of this in. I have a few goals that I want to hit before we reach year 200. And that's going to be making a kill point for the Vikings. I want to use this end of our island as well. And then I want to see about colonizing a different island. But first things first... We have Vikings coming in five years. Let's beef up our defenses here. I think that'd be the most sensible thing to do. If you guys didn't see my video about creative mode, I did a lot of testing to see how the pathing of the Vikings work. And honestly, I couldn't figure it out. So far they land here, so I assume by making it bigger, they'll be more likely to land there. I don't know. We'll find out. Now what I did want to kind of mess around with is these towers. We'll get rid of them. And we'll end up replacing them with Greek fire. That should take care of things nicely there. My only issue is we might need a few more jobs to fill all of this. So let's go ahead and take a look at the other end of our island. First thing I'm going to do is, of course, box in this area so the Vikings will stop landing here. And while that's getting built, look at all the workers. This is nuts. If you look at the tools versus our armaments, we have a lot less tools. So I'm going to take two of our blacksmiths and make it to where they're only making tools. The reason I want tools is I want to get rid of all these rocks. Now that this is all filled in, that was pretty fast, honestly. Let's go ahead and mark out how we want our paths to go. And a simple grid like that should do the trick. Oh, we got Vikings coming. Uh, this is a perfect time to see how our new defenses are going to handle it. Let's get our troops behind the walls. I don't want to lose them. Okay, they are still coming for this point, so that's good. <laughs> stay back, stay back, stay back, stay back. Oh my gosh. Those ogres do so much damage. Okay, honestly, could could be better. I want to build that up one more. Actually, what I'll do is I'll put a, a second barrier in front here. That'll be the best thing. Last bit of the Vikings coming in. Oh my gosh, the Greek fire is so good. And then honestly, we can just get rid of this one. And that should be good. Oh, one of our builders did die. Rip. But back to the other side. That should take care of itself. Uh, this is the layout that we've got so far. What the heck is this? Why is there a bunch of meat here? Did they kill a dragon or something? Dragon don't... They don't drop meat, do they? But I uh, got this figured out. We definitely need more houses to fill these jobs. So let's put in some manors. Oh, we need wood. We only have five after all of our building over here. So that's going to have to change. This area is going to become a kill point anyways. So 
Let's chop all of this down. All right, a bunch of new foresters going in. And just to make sure that the Vikings funnel in the right direction, we'll go ahead and place some walls down on this side. So once we build that, we can throw some turrets and stuff on there. But again, we're going to need a ton more people in our city. So let's focus on building some manors now that we have some wood. Do a few of those. Obviously, we'll come in and put some wells in. And then I always put markets around so that way people can get their food easier and now we're running low on stone as well oh it's actually because these two quarries got destroyed i can actually put large quarries in here so come and grab our oh we can't build anything because we need more wood we need more staff to fill these jobs but we need more wood to get more buildings let's go to our job priority and let's make sure that our timber workers are here above clergy luckily we were able to build these first so we'll get some of these jobs filled oh my gosh under 64 oh because there's 112 builders that always gets me okay all of these are built perfect we've got a little bit more wood so let's get a few more manners in and you know what? They'll probably need a tavern. Gotta have their drink, so... Honestly, we should probably put a church in. Oh, Vikings are attacking. Didn't even realize. Interesting that they're choosing to attack this instead of elsewhere. Hmm. I mean, they're, they're going for the gate, though. Let's get that rebuilt. And then what would probably do really well here is if we put some fire turrets down. So this way, the whole time that they're walking to the gate, they just get destroyed. Oh yeah, uh, quarries. That's what I was working on. Put that around there. Actually, I'm pretty sure the quarries will interfere with the happiness of any building that's next to it because it's loud, I guess. Oh, oof. Goodbye. Oh my gosh. They do drop meat. How did I not know that? Well, there you go. You're still lacking when it comes to wood. I wonder if it's because they have to take it. Let's see. Where are they taking it to? Oh, they have to take it all the way over to here. So if we build them some stockpiles that are a bit closer, they don't have to go so far. Looks like we still have 62 unfulfilled jobs, so we still need to grow. Uh, let's put some more manners in. It'll be a good section here. Oh no, a cemetery care workers run out of space. It looks like this cemetery isn't big enough for us. We could put the cemetery over in this new section, but most people that are going to die are going to be over towards the Vikings. This plot here might be good. Okay, that should take care of that for a while. And hopefully not that many people die, right? Three years until Vikings come again, so let's get this other side filled out with towers. And then I don't know if it's worth putting flame towers on this side, because they seem to be hugging this wall so far. It doesn't seem like it'll reach, so we'll just have to, have to wait on that. More diplomats. Message from our ruler. Go on. Happier matters, but unfortunately, become terribly sick. Oh no. Only hope is to stay here. Okay, all right. You came just to like have your person get sick and leave them with me? Like what was your original message? Whatever. Ooh, putting in those towers means that we still need more people. So we have to continue to fill this area out. Let's see if we can start using this bit down here. Another thing I need to keep in mind is how much food we're using. Looks like we're actually out of storage for our grain. So maybe we need to focus on storage more so than more farms. All right, so I'm going to make this section storage for food. Oh, the Vikings are invading again, but our defenses should be able to handle it. Let's, uh, let's make sure though. Oh yeah. Now they're getting hit from both sides. I doubt they'll even make it to the gate. They're still attacking right here, which I uh, don't know why. I'm going to build these up another level. I'm going to put our granaries along this end and i'm just gonna put a ton of farms in it'll be like our main food production moving forward he's back yet again vikings cause some damage they'll be back and some troops i mean i guess okay i guess we're gonna be alliance now i'll send her like one army oh i can actually see all of her space now dang she's got quite a bit i'll just send her one army okay while well, they're headed over there a lot of jobs unfulfilled because of these farms i uh should have thought of that, but uh, progress is progress. Um, I'm actually going to change this supply into a bath, maybe, to increase happiness. We have these other two, and they're not they're not full. Now, if I'm going to put a bathhouse here, I'm going to need water. Really? And someone in the comments, thank you for the tips, by the way, said that I can build a Noria on a moat, and the moat counts as fresh water. So if I create a moat, right here and a noria next to it i think that should work probably should have messed around with this in that creative episode but i didn't so we're gonna find out now and yeah there you go you guys are on to something but nice now they'll have a bath 
Hopefully people will be a little bit happier. Though they're never going to be happy as long as they're being taxed. But uh, I'm only... Oh my gosh, I'm actually losing money per year. Yeah, so that's going to have to happen. I think our diplomat has arrived. Diplomat inside. I guess we'll just put our archers up on their walls. Oh, there. You have our archers. You got what you want, what you wanted. Wait. Why is her keep like twice as big as ours? Yeah, ours is tiny. Don't we have everything? I mean, we don't have the Great Hall. But, like, I didn't see any benefit to it. Maybe, maybe that's it. Thing's so big, I don't know where to put it. Great Hall can go like that. And the room there. And it sounds like there's Vikings again. Falling right into our trap, as usual. Oh, shoot. They destroyed that. See, good thing our archers are here to help. You'd be screwed. They're actually really vulnerable right now. Oh, here comes some other troops. Uh, how are we holding up? So far, so good. Ooh, this is pretty damaged. Actually, no. Uh, only eight damage. I should probably put some masons in. Wait, wait, wait. What are these people doing? They've got charcoal? Oh. The Greek fires, they take charcoal? Oh, okay. Um, oh my gosh. Actually, a big hit to our charcoal. Uh, let's fix that. Might as well use this area for it. Okay, so masons, charcoal. This should be self-sufficient. This area is looking good. I don't know how to make people happier though. 67 is not the best. Why are you red? Oh, see? Yeah, because they're next to the blacksmith. So they get a huge debuff. We'll get rid of these. Maybe we'll just put a stockpile or two. And then we'll put a few more manors in over here to make sure that we can keep on growing. So Larry's getting filled out. We're <laughs> running out of space. Now, what should I use this space for? Ooh, we do have the cathedral. Again, it's like on the edge. We want to have it in the middle of things. Theater on this side could be cool too. Honestly, we're doing fine with food. Let's put a theater in here. Enjoy life a little bit more on this side. But let's do let's do large library thing. I have I've kind of been staying away from these because it cost money per year to upkeep. But it's gonna give a lot more happiness. It'll be worth it in the end, hopefully. Need a four by four space. There's one right there. Grab the Great Library. Not the biggest influence, honestly. Year 152, and the Great Library has been built. And I'm not so sure it's gonna do a whole lot, honestly. <laughs> They're only happier because I drove the dragon away. But I actually, I didn't think this was gonna happen for a long time, but we're actually out of room for gold. So I'm gonna put a few more treasure rooms down. Oh, and I guess the Great Hall was what we needed, because... Keeps massive now. Oh no, the library did its job. Because we're now at the perfect amount of happiness. So things are pretty much as good as they can get. Oh, we have a delivery. Oh, this is what you use the Great Hall for. Um, This? Okay, I guess I guessed right. Okay, they want to trade with us, but we don't have any dock. Guess we gotta put the dock in. Shove it next to our fishing huts. Should be good. Not that our fishing huts are accomplishing much, honestly. Wait. Are they like yellow? Aren't we blue or red? Yeah, we're red. Why are you yellow? Raiders. Okay, docks are in for you. You can come trade with us. I don't really know what that accomplishes, but it's there. So now that things are under control here, I think it's time that we set our sights in the last what, 50 years that we have. Yeah, 45 years here. I think it's time we set our sights on a new land. I mean, there is this one too, but it's like Really awkward and thin. I don't know. I don't want to deal with it. But we're going to go ahead and do this. Oh, there's Vikings invading. I actually don't know how Vikings are going to treat a new settlement. But while we're taking care of the Vikings, I know there's a way to create settlers. Diplomats, swordsmen, archers, catapults, advisors. Oh, I forgot they existed. Uh, but yeah, let's figure out how to make some settlers. Uh, I noticed in here it says use an exploration ship to build an outpost to unlock settlers. So if we go into Marantine, we do have, yes, the exploration ship here. So we'll just get that building over this ways. I think it just takes one. In the meantime, job priority, we have 108 unfulfilled jobs still. So maybe let's move the stockpiles and granary and we can put those down here instead. And that will allow me to put some more houses here, actually. Do that one, too. We're getting to the point where we need to fill pretty much every space that we have available to us. Now, if I get rid of these trees here, and then if I come and grab the castle stairs, what happens if... Oh! Makes a door in the road there. Does that mean... Yes, the archer went in there automatically. So we can put our archers up on the walls now. This is sick. 
And yes, the exploration ship is built. So let's go on a journey here. Oh, there is only one years until the Vikings attack. So I'll just get him into position and then have him set up camp after the Vikings come. Because I don't know if they'll attack them as well as everything else. This bit of the island's looking pretty, pretty nice and brutal. Might be wise to come pick up an army as well. I'm sure there's going to be wolves and things help defend against the, uh, yeah, like I was saying, the Vikings. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, 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 no. Why are they attacking this side? Oh, this wall too. Luckily, most of them are coming and funneling this way, but uh, they didn't even get through this point. Okay, we'll just go ahead and rebuild that. Then we'll make it a little bit beefier so that way maybe they won't go here. Oh, there are more still coming though. Our defenses actually handled that pretty dang well. Not gonna lie. Now that those Vikings are taken care of, we can go ahead and settle. Oh, I can just choose where to put it, huh? I think right here is going to be as good a spot as any. Have our archers take care of the wolves. Then once the wolves are dead, we our settlers just chop everything down. Now that we did the ship, we should be able to train... Yeah, we can train some settlers. Send them over to help things out grow a bit faster. While they're on the way, let's take care of the rest of the wolves. Perfect. Okay, now we'll just settle these guys in. And our population went up to 26. I want them to chop down pretty much everything. And I do believe that this is part of our land as well. We'll make some bridges. It'll actually look pretty cool. I'm excited. All right, now before they all yell at me too much, let's go ahead and start our layout. I'm gonna try something a little different with this one. Or we're gonna do like four by fours. Uh, but of course we don't have a lot of resources to throw around. Wait, do we have a quarry on this side? Oh no, we do not. Okay, the quarry's over on here, so. That means we're gonna have to build our road. We're gonna have to build a bridge go right across. We'll have to have them chop down a path. And then there are wolves around here, so let's send our archers over. We're gonna have to build just hovels for now. We don't have any stone yet, so we'll build a few of those. Town square as well. Now we can get the quarry on the go. Perfect little start for this kingdom. Uh, let's go check our other kingdom. Oh, they are at 58. Peasants are quite bored. Uh, peace is boring, isn't it? Uh, jousting arena. I haven't messed with that at all. Oh man, this thing is huge. We could put it somewhere in here, get rid of some of these farms. This is what the people want, so here they go. While well, they're getting that built. Oh, Vikings are attacking. I don't know what's going to happen. Can we build a tower too? We have some stone. Covers most of our settlement. These look like they're headed towards our little village. Got two boats landing here and... No, that one's just passing by. Okay, so we got two armies to deal with. Is that a catapult? Oh no. Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. No. Oh man. Oh, it's just gonna destroy everything over here. Oh, the archer tower's not done yet. Shouldn't the keep be firing? Oh, this boat came in. Oh, I guess they're done with us. Could have been worse. I wonder if I can request help from her. We're like completely full on how much she likes us. I couldn't ask for aid, but that's okay. Oh my gosh, there's only nine people left and they're hungry. I didn't, I I forgot to set up farms. Oh, I'm such an idiot. It had been so long since I've like started that. <laughs> let's send our transport ship back and then let's get another group to settle. We'll train two settler groups and then send them over. I'm so sorry. I failed you. People are dying. They died together. Perfect. Okay, we got our settlers in here. Send them onto the boat. And then while they're on the go, look at our jousting arena. I don't think they're very good at this. But people are just walking. Did they just give them food while they're on there? Oh, and armaments. Okay. And there's no one in the stands, of course. Only 16 unfilled jobs. So that's been pretty good. This side, on the other hand, uh, not so much. Let's get you guys settled and uh, make sure you guys are farming. Man, they have almost no resources. I'm gonna start planning for windmills later. Just keep farming. Food will be here soon, I swear. No longer hungry. They've actually got almost 100 food, so things are starting to look up. They do need a cemetery, but we have no stone. Let's put quarry workers above of farmers for now. Now that we've gotten enough farms and farmers, we can start cleaning this up a little bit. Oh no, more Vikings. And I can get another tower put in. Hopefully they'll be able to build it fast enough. Goodness, look at how many there are. Oh, I don't like this because if they're coming on this side, they're probably going to drop off. Oh gosh. Yeah, like I was saying. <laughs> no, this is not good. Come on, Ballista. Okay, good, 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 good. Let's get this rebuilt. Actually, not not bad. We're dealing. We're dealing with it. I need to put some towers through here. Uh, how did our other little village get on? Might not have gotten attacked this time, actually. I have enough to afford some windmills now. 
seal those in. And oh, that's right, they want a tavern. So we can give them what they want. All right, we're going to build our first manor on the new part of the kingdom. For reference, it's uh, year 182. And things are, things are better on this side. Oh, the people over here want taverns as well, so I'll have to deal with that. Where can I shove some taverns? We're running out of space. Put one over here. People are actually pretty happy now. Average of 80. Ah, look at this. This is super good. Oh, that's right. We need to beef this up. Oh, there's a dragon somewhere. I don't even care about dragons anymore. Like, look at this. Absolutely shredded him. Um, turrets on this side. Well, first we'll want one there. Put fire turret there. Fire turret there. And we'll put archer tower here. And a ballista. People are so happy. This is so, so epic. Uh-oh. Our food is kind of falling, though. Could use this up here because we've got plenty of wood. Uh, but let's take a look at... Uh, what's, what's the issue? No charcoal. That's right. Forgot we needed charcoal. Make some... Actually, we we'll probably want to make it over here. Another the industrial area. This is the farming and whatnot. Ooh, we've got a bunch of stones so we can continue expanding. Build a second manor. We'll give them a chapel as well. Most of their needs should be met. Food is still going down, so we need to fix that soon. Let's see what the advisor has to say. Agriculture. We grow more food than we can store. Rats eat the excess. Are you sure about that? Uh, let's put some new roads in first. And then since people will be able to get around faster, we should be able to harvest and store more of it. Okay, that is all of the roads changed to stone. Um, we're only down to a thousand food, so that's a problem. Everywhere where I can, I'm gonna put down farms. We're down underneath a thousand. Uh, I'm even gonna try to put a farm right here in our kill point. Hopefully they don't get far enough to actually do anything to them. Either that or they'll just act as a direction drop this down i can put one here getting dangerously low we just dipped underneath 500 we put some more up up here oh this is not the time not the time i need those farms i think we might be good now we're back over a thousand um i've been kind of neglecting this end of the kingdom they've honestly been hard at work they've got a lot of a lot of resources let's go ahead and use them keep growing their population Okay, so just put some more housing in for them. They're pretty happy. They're not very healthy because they need some fruits. Put one there. I'll get rid of this eventually once I finally get some tools. Um, but something just occurred to me. Food's still hovering around a thousand. Is I could do some more fishing because we have plenty of tools. So if I come into food, we have more fishing huts that we can do. I can just line these everywhere. And I think that people will be able to walk around to them. Like I can put them over here, but like... And they get there. I'll put two here, and then what I'm gonna do is demolish these walls and replace them with two gates. Oh, not the time, not the time. I should have, I should have watched that. The Vikings are coming. It's gonna be a disaster. Please build quickly. Okay, these ones are still coming up top here, but take a lot more to get through. Most are coming there. It doesn't look like any are gonna come here, thankfully. And since these got built, that means people can reach there, walk through the water, which is fine because they're they're fishers. That's what they do. Oh my goodness. Did we already deal with ours? Or is some of that coming to us? Because, like, that's insane. Okay, some of it is coming to us. Hey, look at that. Uh, Crisisville is now a thriving kingdom. What, what is that? Like, 1300 or something? We're still dropping troops off here. But as long as they're predictable, that's fine. So if I want to attack, what I gotta do is I gotta attack right after a viking assault. Because they just knock down the wall so I can send my troops in. And just blitz their keep really fast. Oof. Fight and hunger, though. Still more fish on this side that we could get to. I don't know. Maybe that'll be next time because we're at year 198. Double we'll check things over here. They are... Taverns are too crowded. We can, we can give you another one. No worries, friends. A Riverside Tavern. And there we have it, year 200. Just as their seaside tavern was created. And uh, people are pretty happy. Like, 83 is really good. And... 69 is even better, even better. But yeah, we still have a lot to do in this world. We need to fill out this area. I'm really excited to do the, like the bridges and stuff. It'd make this look super awesome. And then there's of course our ally who uh, we'll have to deal with at some point. If you want to see that, go ahead and subscribe and let me know in the comments that you enjoyed it. That you want to see more and I will make it happen. But here's some more of my videos to go watch. But if you're all caught up, I will see you guys next week. See ya. I love sky meat.